Welcome back my friends. This is the old Dr. Dog hard at it again. In this video we're going to examine uh, the extraction of data from the iPads. Now the iPad stands for the Integrated Post-Secondary Education Data System and this is a large database maintained by the National Center for Education Statistics under the oversight of the U.S. Department of Education. It is a very extensive database which provides a lot of opportunity uh, to gain meaningful uh, data. Every higher education institution awarding federal financial aid reports into the IPEDS. So what you can do with this database is you can conduct national studies, you can isolate by states, all sorts of different things. This video reviews data extraction from the iPads and we're going to use the iPads data set and we're going to use Excel to establish a data set for correlational analysis. And the data set that we're going to do will include the in-district tuition and ad valorem property tax rates for two-year degree granting community colleges in Texas. This may sound familiar to you if you recall the last video in the questions that we looked at. The instruction will involve the following. First, we're going to extract the data from iPads. Then we're going to import the data into Excel for formatting, and we're going to format the data for importation into SPSS. This is a complicated process, but it's a process that once you learn, we, it will benefit you, and we will use this, uh, this process throughout the entire course. Well, hello, my friends. What we're fixing to do now is go into the iPads itself. I realize that uh, this is a very uh, difficult process which we're about to do, but I think if you'll bear with me, you'll, you'll see how that you get in and then we can move from there. Now, I started out going to iPads by going to Yahoo. Kind of strange, isn't it? Well, I'm just going to go up here in the subject matter and type iPads, I-P-E-D-S. And lo and behold, it comes up the Integrated Post-Secondary Education Data System. Here I am. Now, you'll notice announcements. You'll notice things across the top, National Center for Education Statistics. What we're looking for is the iPads Data Center, which is right here. So we'll click on that. Hopefully it loads. A lot of the different things that we can do. We're going to download a custom data file. And here it comes. The first thing we're going to do is select our institutions by easy group. We will be looking at the state. We're interested in Texas. We're interested in the sector, which would be public two year. And we're interested in there being degree granting. Now notice that there are 63 institutions down here of interest. So let's, let's search those and see who they are. There we've got them. Notice how, man, there's all the community colleges in Texas we will continue to variable selection. Now we will use the 2011 year. You have two variables. You're going to be interested in tuition and fees, the in-district averages, and we're going to be interested in, in tax revenue, just playing around with this. So for tuition, let's go to institutional characteristics, and we will go into that and see what it says. Looks to me like there's tuition and fees right there for undergraduate and graduate students. Academic years, let's do in-district average tuition. And we've got all that, so now it's time we'll go up here and see right here and press continue. We have to extract one variable at a time. Uh, we're, we've got that in-district average tuition, so let's continue. And we will download that. And we'll download this a CVS file where we can put it into Excel. You will notice that when it went up here, the top one is the one that I'm interested in. Uh, this little box comes up, looks like this. I'll now uh, hit on that. And uh, lo and behold, look what I have. I have the community colleges, the year, and the average tuition. I'm going to save that, save as. And I'm going to save it as uh, tuition. I think I'll save it to the desktop. Let's see, get my desktop right here. I'm on an Apple, guys. Y'all get used to that. And uh, I may save it. I'll just save it as CBS file. It's on the desktop. 
Okay, we'll load it up into Excel in just a minute. Now we're we're set for it, so we've got that done. I want to go back in now and extract the other. Let's go back into Integrated Post-Secondary Data System, Data Center, Custom Data File, Easy Group. You're going to have fun playing with this. The state, again, would be Texas. Uh, like that. Uh, geographical, let's do sector, public two-year, and let's do degree granting and we have 63 institutions. Now, since we're going to look at tax revenues, uh, let's, let's go down, I bet it's in finance, and probably in the public institutions GASB deal. I happen to know that. All right, revenues and, and other additions. See what we got. Oh my gracious, we've got all sorts of things here. So what we're looking at is local appropriations, education district taxes, and similar support. We will continue with that. And we just continue, and we will download that as a CVS file. You see it downloading up here. And it is now downloaded up there, and I can move it across. We have that file. And here it comes loading right now. Look at that. So we have the overall tax revenues for these districts. And we're going to do some things with that here in just a minute. Let's go ahead and let's uh, file save as to the, and we're going to call that tax uh, revenue. And we're going to draw a correlation in just a minute. We're going to put it on the desktop. I'll show you in a second how to, how to take care of that and add it all up. Now these are CVS files. We're going to turn them into Excel files here in just a minute. All right. So what you've done is you've done a data extraction in, uh, in the uh, iPads. Pretty cool. You extracted two different uh, data sets now that we just need to weld together in Excel. Live long and prosper. We're going to move on. Now, friends, our objective will be to take these data sets which we've extracted and weld the two of them together. Uh, you will notice that this is the tuition, and I know that because when I hit this, it says tuition for full-time graduates and all of that. So we have this. The colleges are in alphabetical order. Uh, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put up the tax revenue portion. I want you to see that the colleges match, and it's important that you check that out. I'm just going simply to copy that column close it, and I'm going to paste that column now. So right here, I have the, the tuition. I'm going to change that. We're going to call it tuition, and we're going to call that tax uh, revenue, and we have that. This is the institution. Let me fix that. And we no longer need the UID, so I will go ahead and delete that. Edit. Uh, delete that column. And we know that it's the 2011 year. I'm going to move this out just a little bit so we have the institutions. You know, I'm just kind of a perfectionist, guys. I mean, you know, I'm. my wife says that if you want to know about me, then watch that uh, show about that autistic detective named Monk. Now I want to file Save As, and I will save this file. I want to sell it, save it as an Excel uh, XLS file, and I will save it to the desktop. And now, friends, I have a file that has the community colleges, but more importantly, it has the tuition and it has the tax revenue. So now I have this thing ready for importation into SPSS. Now, notice that I did not format this with commas. If, if you format this thing with commas, then what you do is you destroy the uh, ability of Excel to look at it because Excel then doesn't know what it is. So I just left it as numbers and we're in, we're in very, very, very good shape. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and format those uh, sales for you just so you see that. We'll make them numbers. We'll have no decimal places and no uh, tuition. We'll save it again. 
And there we are. We now have our data file ready to roll. Well, I always enjoy ending my videos by thanking you very much for your support. I know that the extraction of data from the iPads is a little bit cumbersome than welding it together in an Excel file so we can import it into SPSS seems complicated. But you're going to be able to do this in groups. You're going to be able to work together. That's the goal. Again, I thank you very much for your support. Live long and prosper. And should you ever meet a Vulcan, the response is peace and long life.